bed, love, bed, bed, love, <laughs> beyond. beyond, bed, love, beyond, bed, love, beyond. <laughs> Hello, welcome to another episode of Bed Love Beyond, episode eight, a place for the hopeful and the hater in us to discuss sex, love, and whatever's clever with like-minded people like you who are also in limbo with like, love. Like us. Oh, Whatever, <laughs> I, Martini. All right, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I am one of your hosts, Martini, and... Jennifer, I'm here again. Yes, yeah, she's here. I showed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, apparently, yeah, she, sh- yeah, she showed up. <laughs> What's going on? I show up for all of my jobs. Yes, this is uh, <laughs> Bella, Bella Beyond, and we have another episode for you, and this episode is called, wait, you want me to do what? A.K.A. Sexpectations. Mm. So it's going to be real serious. I wonder who wrote this. <laughs> it's going to be real serious, this episode. <laughs> but first, before we get into the business, business. we have a guest... <laughs> We have also have a guest, but be- even before that, we have to hit you up with all of our freaking social media because we're everywhere on the map now. I know. It's pretty awesome, right? So we have our website. <laughs> www.bedlovebeyond.com. And what's the Gmail? W- no, there's no W. <laughs> <laughs> Bedlovebeyond at gmail.com. And we also have a phone number. What? What? A phone number to call us. Call me, guys. You know, oh, whoa, hey. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little hey, overzealous. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we also have a phone number so you guys can call in and leave a, leave us a message, you know, so you could uh, tell us, you know, what topic, you, you know, you want us to talk about or if you have anything that you need advice. Yeah, I mean, on we're not anything. like expert experts, but yeah. like we have an opinion and we, we could share it with you. Exactly. And you know? we're unbiased, so we're not going to be like, dump him because i knew he dated stacy yeah exactly you <laughs> we know, don't know who Stacey we're is, all so like who cares? yeah we're all like-minded people we know we just want to get the conversation going and that's 201-862-8-BED Ooh. oh snap look at that which for those who don't have time to look at the number pad or don't have a number pad anymore because we don't use those kind of phones <laughs> um 201-862-8233 yes and we also have we're on facebook as you already know so it's facebook.com slash bed Bed forward, Love Beyond. Forward slash. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> forward slash Bed Love Beyond. So you could give us a like. Also, we are on Instagram. What's the Instagram? At Bed Love Beyond Official. And what is the Twitter? At Bed Love Beyond. Oh, and of course, the podcast, you already listened to it. So hopefully you're listening to it on Android. It's Bed Love Beyond at podbean.com. Or you can just download the Podbean app and just search Bed Love Beyond. And we are also on the almighty iTunes. <laughs> so, yeah. so search Bella Beyond on iTunes and uh, you'll see us there. Nice. All right. So today we have our first official guest of the show. This is pretty awesome. And he wanted to give, you know, he wanted to weigh in on this subject. He couldn't wait to get here and talk about his spiel. So uh, today's guest is Noble Casalupis. Noble, how are you? I'm doing most excellent, thank you. All right, this this is awesome. Welcome to our podcast. Yes, welcome to the podcast. Welcome to Bed Love Beyond. I'm very glad to be here. I appreciate all the time that you're giving me, <laughs> and I do appreciate this show. This is going to take off. This huh. is super awesome. Nah, thank you, thank you. Um, so before we get into today's topics, um, you have actually written a book so can you please tell us one what the title is and also uh what is in the book what, what, and why did you write it well i am noble casa lupez that is my pen name the name of the book is <clears throat> how to be ridiculously successful with women for the rest of your life you know that is a diesel title <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. it yeah. says everything one would you know, form curiosity about it's like, oh wow, that's a diesel title. So no, yeah, exactly, like, no, oh. yeah, because somebody is gonna read that title and they're gonna be like, mm, okay, let's see what this guy has to say. And that's how you get them in. Mm-hmm. That's a sales pitch, go. and it's true. When you right. open it up, you do see that there's a lot of potential for every man to, you know, meet a lot of women using my techniques. So, I can only assume because you did write this. And you obviously came up with the title. Are you successful with women? I get a lot of attention and I meet a lot of women. Mm-hmm. And I, I, 
You asked me a direct question. Yes, I am successful. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can boast if you want. I mean, hey, you know, if if you're successful, I mean, you've written you've written a damn book about it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so I try to dance around it, <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, you know, I wrote that book. Yeah, it's really good. It helps so, a lot. Helps a lot of my clients. Yes, Jennifer. So, Noble, what do you do? <coughs> what is your thing that why what gave you the ability to write this book? Well, a lot of failing with women. <laughs> Has made me extremely successful with women. I feel like I should go high five women. Go ahead, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, that, no, that's, that's very interesting because you don't seem too cocky or arrogant about that because you just admitted that you failed with a lot of women as opposed to like, man, I've never had you know failure with women. I'm like, you know, the man. What are you talking about? So that's that's really interesting. What 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 did you actually fail with women? Well, in high school, I'm like, well, all right. I look at myself in the mirror. I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm decent looking. So all right, I try to talk to women and they're not just not feeling me. Right. Then I have to peep out what the other classmate the dudes are doing and checking them out, see who's, whose flirt game works. And then it seemed like, you know, the girls like the really jerky guys that, you know, like participated in failing on purpose in class and being a jerk. Uh-huh. And they were kind of digging it. I was like, all right, so I got to be a, a dick every now and then. <laughs> you know, I could pick, the, I could learn that. Right. <clears throat> <laughs> I can learn being a dick. <laughs> and then you see other that. you see other people and they got their flirt game going. They just they're willing to fail and go up to a woman and just say stupid things and try to get a laugh. I'm like, all right, so I gotta be brave. Okay, that's cool. You know, I'm taking notes, I'm taking notes. Right. And then after a while you figure it out. Then when you test you test test yourself and with women, and eventually you learn to fly like a little bird. You know, you fall on your face a couple of times. Mm-hmm. And then once you get it and you understand, like, oh, now I get it. Because mm-hmm. you attempted so many times. Right. You're like, okay, now I get it. Right. And then next thing you know, you're in a club and you're just like, all right, there's a woman I like. Let me just roll up behind her, grab her by the hips and see if it goes down. And then she starts dancing. see if it goes down. <laughs> Isn't it supposed to go up? Sorry. Whoa. <laughs> this is a sex episode. <laughs> so then she, That's start, all you're getting then she starts dancing. You're like, okay, I'm in. Right. And then, then you uh, you pull her to the side and start talking to get to know her name and everything. Next thing you got a phone number, you're like, damn. And then there's the next piece of the puzzle is like, what do you say on the phone? Right. And then you fail on the phone. Yeah. And then the cycle repeats itself. It's just a learning curve. Yeah. So is this something that you like teach or is this just something that you like know when you put in the book? This is something I actually teach. I, I put it in the book, mm-hmm. but when I explain things to my clients, I take it step by step, baby steps. Mm-hmm. And men like to understand why they're doing something. It's right. not like just go say this to her. Because they're going to be scared. I'm like, this is why you're going to say this to her. Right. This is the psychology behind it. And this is why it's going to work. Yeah. When you say this, this is how she's going to respond. This is what she's going to be thinking. And when she gives a certain type of response, this is how you respond to her. Yeah. Or response, this is how you respond to her. Mm-hmm. And then it, you know, but I teach them step by step, baby steps to all these these things. And it's, it's very, it's rewarding for me. Can you teach ladies? Yeah, I've done that before. Oh, cool. Really? Mm-hmm. You you take a female clients as well? They're very easy to teach because they just follow orders, which is good. Right. <laughs> but what do you... A guy, you, a guy would question exactly what's going on. A woman would just kind of like listen to what you're saying and just do it. So that they're extremely successful. So so you so you teach them how to get guys or to... Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, okay. I teach them how to get men. Because some of them like, guys never approach me. I'm like, well, are you giving him the eye? Right. Are you smiling at him? Or are you giving him the up the look up and down? Yeah, yeah. I'm ice grilling like, motherfuckers no. all day. You're like, no. I'm like, well, there you go. Right. <clears throat> you know, all a girl has to do is give me a certain look. I'm walking right over there. <laughs> and, sal- and saluting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. How may I help you? I guess we should say that Noble hails from um, the wonderful New York City. So. Yeah. I mean, locate. I think I have a strong inclination at location has a lot to do with like the way you carry yourself and you are from new york long island right yeah i'm about to correct that i was like i'm from long island girl <laughs> <laughs> so long island elmont <laughs> i am from elmont new york and i'm very very proud and i'm making okay. everyone proud just listening right now there you go <laughs> all right so uh do you have any other questions martini um i think i do oh yeah so what do you okay what do you what do you want to get Let's say somebody reads your book. What do you want to get? What do you want them to get out of it? Oh well, the book again is named "How to Be Ridiculously Successful with Women for the Rest of Your Life." You can go to my website www.seductionistart.com. I know you're wondering how I got that name. <laughs> how easy it was to get? I just thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of it. <laughs> www.seductionistart.com. Mm-hmm. 
All right. All right. So you guys can no, check that out. It, but what? But what do you? What do you want people to get out of your book once they read it? Like, do. <clears throat> oh, I want men to man up. I want them to be gentlemen, strong men that could lead their their wife, their girlfriend, their friends around. Just just noble men, just strong. The stand up guys from the old school. I'm just a, I'm a really old school dude. So is your is your book because you were mentioning like wives and girlfriends and stuff like that. So is your book more like He the, wants to know if it's how to be game? a player? Yeah, is it, is it like is it like is yeah? Are you trying to be like a pickup artist? Or are you just trying to make men revert back to how it used to be and be like you know, like you said, like man up and be gentlemanly and whatever? Or or you are you just trying to get men to just get the draws? Oh, that, that's a I get asked that question a lot. It really, what it really comes down to is I'm teaching you how to be like the superhero in the movies i'm teaching you how to be the george clooney's the brad pitt's mm -hmm. the denzel washington's mm -hmm. that denzel. guy and i'm teaching you how to be that guy okay and you can use it to get a lot of girls or you can use it to get married that's mm -hmm. up to you that's up to you all right i just teach you how to get girls okay no i, I respect that that's cool <clears throat> all right so Since you are our first guest hey 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 i feel like we should give a little disclaimer that your opinions about our topics are your opinions and not necessarily our opinions. But we welcome your opinions because this is a no shame, no hate zone. Exactly. And, you know, it's just going to get serious. So we don't know what's going to come out of his yeah. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't really prep him. So, so anything can happen on this show. <laughs> and it's all my fault. I'll take full responsibility. <laughs> just um, know we still love you guys. <laughs> yes. All right. So let's get so let's get into it. So right, like Martini. I said before. What do we got today? The topic of the show is called, wait, you want me to do what? Se expectations. Mm. So, but before we get into the, you know, what to expect about sex, because we always, men and women always have different expectations when it comes to sex. So, but before we get into that, we want to know, when is the right time to have sex? So, I was reading this article. It was from uh, www.meetmindful.com. And it was a, it's, a little ex it's a little excerpt. So, I'll just read it right here. It says, who were your sexual role models? Where did you learn about sexuality, body image, and self-worth? Your parents had a big, big impact, and so did your parents' religious ideals or your church, the media, as well as your peers. Do any of these sound, do any of these sound like messages you received growing up? Good girls and boys wait until marriage. Wait until you're in a committed relationship. Only sluts have sex on the first date. Wait until the third at least. <laughs> getting clear on the beliefs you have around your sexuality is key examine those voices in your head and ask yourself do they belong to me or to someone else mm -hmm. decide if you'd <laughs> like to keep them or send them back to where they came from too often i see people crippled with sexual shame simply because of what they were told growing up and if you discover that voice does belong to you now you can own it so i want to you know bring it up to the board when Boy. is the right time to have sex? Time what? Like on a first date or like in general? Oh, well, like, in, I mean, in, whatever, in general. I mean, because it, it, it's, a, it's a very good I question. I don't think that, I don't think I have the right to tell you that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a twist. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because first of all, what time I thought was a good time to have sex <laughs> and what time someone else, you ever ask a guy when was the first time they had sex and he's like 13, you're like, God damn, <laughs> I was playing with Barbies, bitch. <laughs> like, right. you know what I'm saying? And like, then you're judging even though you don't want to judge. Oh yeah. It's, it's like, a knee jerk reaction. Right. So like, I can be like, oh, you know, this is when I lost my virginity. And then, like, people are like, oh, okay. And everyone I think I know is, like, around the same time. Mm -hmm. But, like... When did you lose your virginity? Sir, 17. I was almost an adult. Okay. <laughs> You're and, an adult at And I was in love. So, oh. I wasn't just like, hey, that hot football player behind the bleachers, let me see what he's about. Yeah. But you know what? Some <laughs> people do that. And if they think that's... If they want to do that, that's fine. Because, yeah. like, at 30, if you're still regretting who you slept with at 13, mm -hmm. then I'm sorry. Yeah. Go to therapy. But I don't think this is necessarily talking about the first time. Oh, you mean like dating? I guess. Thank I believe you, so. Because I needed that clarification. You, no, no, no. Now no, I, everyone knows when I lost my virginity. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. But, but. I am the guest. <laughs> <laughs> no, but regardless, that's a good, that's a good question right, to ask. Right. Because that's still 
falls okay. under that property. As, as a female, yeah. when our friends talk, or when the females get together and we talk, mm -hmm. they're like, oh, don't sleep with them on the first date. You know, don't give it up, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's like, <laughs> okay, well, I won't. You know, but then when they do it, they're like, ah, fuck it. It was just sex. Like, it was no big deal. I don't care if I never <laughs> see him again. He was fine. I just wanted to fuck him. And I'm like, oh, okay. I hate females with their that, that fuck it mode. Like, because it, because like, Exactly what you just said. <laughs> it's right. Because they they're, have they're hypocrites. They have but all these listen, rules and regulations. It's a defense mechanism. And then the fuck it mode happens. Ah, fuck it. And then you just have, you're like, what the? What? I, okay. <laughs> you know. It's so. a defense mechanism. Oh, you, right. be, you believe what women say. <laughs> <laughs> That's your problem. It's in the book. <laughs> it's in the book. <laughs> That's, it's a defense mechanism. Because, mm -hmm. first of all, I can see there all day and be like, guys, I would never sleep with somebody on the first day. Mm -hmm. But then I can go on a date with Idris Elba tomorrow and then come home the next day and be like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, Idris. <laughs> so, Noble, when do you think is the right time to have sex? <sighs> That's a good question. Like, with me, I, I'm not the type of guy... That's in a rush to have sex, so mm -hmm. I kind of let it happen. Right. But I kind of like prep them. <laughs> what? Uh, I kind of elaborate. <laughs> I, I you know, Martini like Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> no, I prep these turkeys. No. <laughs> no, I prep them to give it up. I prep these birds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> no, I prep them to you know pretty much give it up as soon as possible. Okay. It's because I charm them on the phone and. Right. You know, the text messages and everything. So I warm them up really good. Mm -hmm. So I kind of like kick it with them and sit back and chill. Yeah. They'll need a couple of drinks, of course, you know, loosen up. What? Yeah, you know, you got to look them up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sounds like David. So, Go ahead. Li 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 liquid courage. <laughs> <laughs> no, for the females, they need to relax. Right, right, no, right. I understand what you're saying, because yeah. if a guy is doing the right stuff, like if he's sending you messages, if he's yeah, answering yeah, yeah, yeah. your phone calls. Because they have to feel safe. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then if she's attracted to you, then it's on and popping. Yeah, I mean, yeah. There's no taking that back. Mm -hmm. So... It's really, as first of all, you have to be like a in a mature mindset to do it. And as where you as a man are thinking that you're prepping her, her and as a woman are just checking off this like imaginary checklist that she has for that day. And then she's just like, I want it. He wants it. I'm going to make it happen. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But, you know, I do. I'm very, very patient. And sex on the first date is great. Mm hmm. But do you look down on women who have no, sex on the first mm -mm, date? They're, they're with me. They're supposed to do that with me. I don't. I don't believe that it should be any other way. I don't care what you do with other guys. But with me, you just should feel comfortable and safe. It's expected to me. Like I, a woman saying no to me is like it's weird. Mm -hmm. It's like if a woman says no, I'm like, oh, it must be a. Your cycle going on, <laughs> <laughs> or she, she must have her period, <laughs> or or you hear that voice in the back of your head. Maybe I should wait, which is cool, right? But you say no to me, like that's uh, that's preposterous. So, like, so I, don't, I don't get it. So you have mm. a so you have you personally have a high success rate. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. but I, I take I, I take everything slow. I'm just you know, like, right. I I'll meet a girl and then. I might see her like two weeks later, but I've been in contact with her since the day I met her. Right. Because I'm, but you just haven't physically seen her in two yeah, weeks. Yeah, I'm just warming her up. Cause. Online dating world. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, so technically you've been quote unquote dating for two weeks, and then you guys see each other and you're like, bam. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's usually how it goes. So Martini, do you look down on women who want to sleep with you on the first date? No, I mean, <laughs> like, no, no, I mean, yo, if you want to freaking do it, go ahead, man. Like, why am I gonna? <laughs> like, I'm not gonna stop you. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna stop you. Like, go ahead uh, if you want. Like, hold on, sweetie. Yeah, <laughs> you know, hey, I'm trying to protect I your honor. Think, going on. I don't think there is a right. There's way too much testosterone in this room. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think there is like a time. Like, right. Like, if we go by like the whole Steve Harvey thing, you have to wait like six months to give up the cookies. Six Who months, is that crazy man? Six talking months about? is a long time. What? Six months is a very long time. I mean, it, hey, so, no, so it some people some people wait until what marriage. Is it? No, is it six but I'm just saying. Six dates. I, I don't know. I don't read the book. But but um, but six dates. I think it's six dates. That would make a little bit more sense. Six months. Yes. Come no, on. some people, people do it. I'm people gone. Get, some people get I'm married gone. in six months. Gone. Yeah, she <laughs> and she and she lost. Yeah. <laughs> Why well, she thinks a guy waits six months? He's a winner. No, it might be six dates, and I'm not gonna Google because it's what's, not worth the time. What's he but... doing for the the last six months? I'm seeing other women, probably. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, that's but, the game. But 
Yeah, it's it's crazy. I, yeah, I don't know about six months. It six. has to be six days. That, that's, six days probably that's, sounds that's, like that's nutty. I think so. I watched a movie. I don't read the books. I don't um, read the articles either. Burn, burn, burn <laughs> no, in I that do. book. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So I mean, I don't know. I think it really depends on the person, and everyone has their own. Like you said, do like morals and stuff like that, and religious ideals. Like, you know, some people are like dead set on like I can't have sex before marriage. Right. Th- those people. I feel I don't know I don't know what to say I don't want to insult anyone's religion I just don't I just don't know if I could do it I here's the thing I'll say I about that I got out of religion class I I, 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 do I salute story. the people who can do that because it's very hard because you know it's I'm like sure what it is. what is it uh, once you pop the fun don't stop <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying so it's like once you have it you want to have it all the time so like yeah. if you can hold on if you can hold off and then you know do it then you and you get married you that's, god god bless you that, that's, <laughs> that's that's very good for them <laughs> <laughs> period i no, i'm not that sarcastic i know that i i know i get i get i get that a lot that i'm sarcastic i'm not i'm just telling the truth right. it's very good for them and it works for them so let that be your thing yeah because you can see that their quality of their relationship is nice it's not yes. exciting but since that's all they know yes and they're not stepping outside that box yes it works very well for them it like, does god bless yeah no it, it really does because you don't want to come over <laughs> here, got religious up you, here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to come over here with us because this is oof, it's nuts out here it's nuts out here it's all out here for a pimp mm. <laughs> i mean i never asked my mom about her sexual history i don't want to know it's disgusting wow <laughs> <laughs> But no, I'm I'm just like going off of what Martini said. Like your parents made an impact, religious ideals made an impact, maybe your church. Mm-hmm. I mean, I did get kicked out of religion class because I said I think you should live with people before you get married. And my mm. my teacher mm. was pissed off and told me to leave the classroom and that you can't buy the pro- you can't try the product before you buy it. What what is this? A religious class or something? I went to Catholic the- high school. Anyway. Okay. Get out. <laughs> so, <laughs> get out. I know. You I mean, and, me- and media, like, I don't know. Like, yo, some of these shows are crazy now. Like, you watch, like, Glee and shit, and these bitches are getting pregnant. <laughs> and, like, not that they didn't in my high school, but yeah. I guess I just was blind to it. Right. Because I was, like, very, like, young, innocent, and virginal at 14 and 15. But these hoes are just, like, <laughs> you know, doing crazy shit. Getting, like, mouth herpes and stuff. I don't know. It's crazy. <laughs> well, you, it, I don't know if you've heard or seen it, but do you ever see that, uh, it was a it was a movie based on like a real life thing about the the pregnancy pact. Yo, when it was like yeah. six or seven chicks right, who got who story. all like, got pregnant at the same time. Let's go get pregnant. Yeah, because they wanted to have kids and wow. they were all in high school and they all got pregnant at the same time. Yeah, and they took like you know like a selfie. No, not a selfie. They took a picture of themselves in a mirror, so you saw. Yeah. So you saw and then they're all like sh- showing their, their bellies. bellies and stuff. And I'm like, wow. Like mm. they they all went out and. Got knocked up by so they random can all dudes. be. I'm, I'm assuming so they can all get pregnant at the same time. Right, but then you watch shows like Sex in the City, and they're just like going out and like randomly screwing people. But like Sex in the City, like as a woman, you watch a show and you're like, I want to be more like Samantha. Samantha. <laughs> well, no, I don't want to be like Samantha. Carrie. No, what's Carrie. the what's the good one's name? Oh, I don't know. The, yeah, the redhead, like, right? No, no, no. no the, uh, oh, the, the other one. Oh, the brunette. Nobody knows her name. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Hold on a second. I, I can remember. I've seen every episode, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm Charlotte, like, Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah. two points for you. <laughs> so, like, everyone's like, oh, I want to be like Charlotte. I want to be settled down and married. Like, sometimes she'd have, like, a little fling, but she'd feel, like, <laughs> guilty about it. Yeah. And then, like, but most of the time, she was just like, I want to be... You know, in this committed married relationship. A wife, a wife yeah. right. I want to be a wife. I want to be a mother. But I can still hang out with these hoes and have fun. Right. Well, I think people want to, uh, they want to be Charlotte, but they love that Sam exists because that's how they think. Mm-hmm. Right, right. So. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, media and all that crap, like, does probably play an influence. But at the end of the day, it's based on your own morals and what you feel good about doing with yourself. You know? Yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So do it when you want to do it. Don't feel guilty about it. Don't let anybody make you do it. Yeah. I don't know. What do you mean? Oh like yeah. Rape? What, what? <laughs> <laughs> don't let them make you do it. <laughs> no. I Whenever mean, the right time is, it's it's up to you. Basically, right. just right, just so, talk about it with your uh, you significant to, other. Right, that's uh, I you always like to, to add a little bit of pressure. <laughs> 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 Next topic. Yeah, just a little bit of pressure. <laughs> Right, but women shouldn't have to feel like they need to have sex. Like, if if you're good to a woman and she's attracted to you and she likes you, she's going to want it. Adults, we're talking about people in our age group. I'm not talking about like young girls. I don't know if young girls listen to this. I hope they do. Um, and if they do, they shouldn't feel pressure to like drop the draws. Don't have sex before seventeen. 
<laughs> be <Nope>. like Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> no, seriously. If you if you want a, a golden rule, wait, t- wait till you're an adult, seventeen. All right, that's that's coming from a man. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, that's that's good. Mm. All right, so the next topic is called Sex and Love, Simple Economics. This was uh, an article that I saw from HuffingtonPost.com, and this is extremely interesting, and I'm going to read this, and I want to hear both of you guys, especially Noble. I want to hear what he has to say about this, but here we go. Well, this is from the Huffington Post? Yeah, from the Huffington Post. I don't like them. Oh, well, oh, this is even better. (laughs) So so hold on. All right. Whack articles. All right, so here we go. A recent study takes an utterly unromantic look at sex and love, theorizing that they can be explained by a simple economic model, that sex is a resource women possess, and men acquire it by providing other resources in return, Sounds like horror, yeah. namely money and commitment. Mm. But here's where it gets really interesting. Baumeister poses that the more gender equality there is, the more sex is being had. In other words, it can be boiled down to a simple question of supply and demand, Baumeister claims in countries where women are at a big disadvantage they restrain sex so the price is high and men make a lifetime commitment to support them to get sex Baumeister told USA Today men will do whatever is required for sex what Mm -hmm. so so do do you think like sex and love is just based on equations just just like Uh. oh like what they say you know like like, if you, you give me this, I'll give you that. Yeah, that sex is a resource women possess and men acquire it by providing other resources in return? No. they That equation or that f- formula or that way of thinking is for mediocre men. Mm-hmm. Meaning, in this way, if a woman sees you and she doesn't, not, she doesn't see you as a, a respectable real guy or going into a real, what a real man is, that's another whole conversation, another show. But if she doesn't see like, oh, that that guy, that's the one. Yeah. Then she might try to sell you some pizza. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. But she'll give the pizza free to the guy that she's like, that's the one. Right. And the one could be like many different guys. But when she sees a man that possesses that quality, yeah, it's the pizza's free for that guy. Right. But she'll yeah, she'll sell pizza to other people. Is pizza sex? Mm-hmm. Use the P word. Oh, <laughs> we're all adults here. You can say. Well, penis. um, <laughs> well, yeah, because they that old uh, like saying. Well, not even really old saying, but it's like that saying where like a woman can uh, assess in five minutes if she'll like mm-hmm. sleep with the guy or not. So yeah. that's pretty much what you're saying. Like, that's if the guy saying. is worth it, you're yeah. like, oh yeah, I'll sleep with him. Yeah, if, yeah, exactly. If, if he does his job, Claro que sí, he sí. Yeah, I mean. Listen, I don't know. It sounds a little bit like prostitution, but okay. like at the same time, mm-hmm. I can see it like in a married point of view. Like mm. if you don't take out the garbage, yeah, and you didn't cut the lawn, yeah, and you didn't pick up your dirty socks, right? We're not fucking extortion, right? But <laughs> sex shouldn't be used as a reward or but punishment. If I'm aggravated. It ain't happening. Well, that's different. No, but that's the thing. That's <laughs> right. why this... I'm not saying it's right. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah. that's maybe where this is coming from. Right, right, right. So it's not really like an exchange for goods, but like if you do things to make me happy, I'm going to be in a better mood. Mm. So I'm not saying like you have to do these things in order to get sex, but mm. if I'm pissed mm. off because you didn't do them or if I asked you to do something and you didn't do it... Yeah. Sorry, I feel like I'm yelling at you more. No, 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 again. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I see the fire. <laughs> yeah. so go ahead. You were getting a talking to. Right? <laughs> oh, I'm getting a freaking like, lecture. I no, feel, go, ahead, go ahead. No, like I feel like then, then it's like... You're so angry about something yeah. that you're just like, all right, the last thing I want to do is be with you. She is a homeland terrorist. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's a homeland terrorist. <laughs> I could have put up with this in my house. <laughs> I'm like, woman. So, so hold on. I'm gonna apply some pressure. <laughs> so, so hold on. All right. So let's say. So okay. So let's, so let's. Well, let's put it in practice or whatever so let's say you know you're with somebody and you don't she's like babe can you take the trash out and you're like all right cool but you're playing freaking like mortal Kombat on your ps4 mm-hmm. all day or like you're watching the game it's an important game and then she comes back from work or whatever and she's like babe you can take the garbage you're like nah was, was, i'm like did the, the truck, game did the truck come yet <laughs> <laughs> i still got five hours shut the hell up. <laughs> all right but if she gets mad 
but but you're like, dude, I've been playing this game all all day. Y'all, you almost a mess. Like, do you do you try to make it happen or like, nah, I'm not gonna get any ass because she's pissed. Like, no, all right. First of all, I'm just it's not gonna take me that long to take out the trash. I could pause it and just yeah, and then just do it right. And sometimes it's not worth like that's not a fight. I want to fight about something real. Right, fight about right. taking out the trash like, yeah. at a certain time. You try to tell me to take it out at a certain time when I still got five hours to the truck comes. Like you need to shut your, shut up. <laughs> right. I'm not with that. But I understand if you need to. If it smells, I'm gonna smell it too. I'm gonna actually want it out the house. Yeah. I don't yeah, want to yeah. smell trash. Come on. <laughs> We're like real focused on this trash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but, but also, fellas, I got I'm trash that needs to be taken out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we'll help you with that. As long as you got some pizza <laughs> in the oven. But uh, yeah, I'm not trying to fight with my woman about that. But at the same time, I don't take real orders from women. It's like. Mm-hmm. That's not happening. You, no, you got to okay. put, put your. All right, maybe. Foot, okay, right. I shouldn't have put it in such a like. Yeah, you sound like a homeland terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> like, I think that, like, I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't think that women should use sex as a weapon, like a monetary value for goods and services i mean like an amateur prostitute you see a lot of chicks rolling with louis <laughs> that ain't cheap <laughs> you right. know what i'm saying so where like, do they get that yeah they they do I do it not to say that you aren't you know not you have an ebt card you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that you can't hold your own ladies i'm not saying that but like some of y'all yo the power of the P-U-S-S-Y. <laughs> right. But a lot of these girls are out here who, who, do to, who they're not really interested in, who are like overly interested in them, and yeah. they know that they've got something, and they have a little bit of like coin in their pocket, and mm-hmm. they're all like, oh, baby, 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 baby. And like, they may be like hanging out with like... Me. Yeah, like, <laughs> hanging out with fucking Noble at the club on Friday night, but then going home to like poor Tommy, who mm-hmm. like has like one job and who's like giving all his checks to her because he just wants her to love him. Aww. That's a sad story. Tommy, <laughs> <laughs> Tommy needs to read my book, <laughs> How to Be Ridiculously Successful with Women for the Rest of Your Life. But that's what's happening. I think I don't know. I mean, it is a rat race. I don't think that women should try to provide sex for goods and i don't think men should do good things or have do whatever you know what i'm saying like <laughs> do good things right. don't do good things guys no do good things don't but like it should be a, it should be an equal thing like you know what maybe one day ladies you take out the trash so he, <laughs> so he comes home and he's like damn i gotta take out the trash tonight. and then you're All like right. nope i did it already and then maybe he'll hook you up hey now oh okay so it should be equal playing ground. It should, you know, like why, no. Why would you just look at me like who me? Women are saying nice things. <laughs> no, like, no, but you're right. I mean, that that, that tug I of take war out thing. the trash. Make sure there's some dinner on the table. Yeah, you're real old school. <laughs> 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 hey, Domino's. <laughs> Talking about yeah. what the, should be done. No, nah, the, the the tug of war thing. I mean, not to say that it needs to stop, but like the whole like I'll do this if you do this. It's like. That's not cool. Right. Like, you know, like, I shouldn't. No, no, Sex no. should not be reward or punishment. But That's not cool. But best believe that it happens. I mean, watch, oh, no, absolutely it happens. You watch those Real Housewife shows? For suckers, man. <laughs> I won't tolerate anything like that. I don't know. I mean, no. Can you, can you imagine? <laughs> the, no, whole, the whole idea listen, is freaking ridiculous. At the end of the day, <laughs> sex should be something if you're in a committed relationship that you want to do to share with your partner. Mm-hmm. And it shouldn't be something that you do to... You like a give and take type thing. I mean, there should be give and take in a relationship, period. But it shouldn't be sex as the end result. No, mm. sex is that. That's a whole separate thing, aside from the relationship. And I know that's hard to to believe or fathom, but it's just like we could have so many different problems, but don't let that stop the sex. Because I know you like it and I like it. Mm-hmm. It's not even. Don't ruin that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even, yeah. And if if that's what you think, all that you think that I want. Then we shouldn't even be together in the first place. We could have been just screwing on the side. Why are we even in a relationship? Yeah. Well, don't stop the magic of sex. Let's have some sex. We'll sleep and wake up and fight in the morning. But don't stop the you know what you. I know you want it still. You might be angry at me, but you know what's uh, uh, you know orgasm is always nice. <laughs> An orgasm is always nice. Nah, yeah, it's true. Like even don't... for her, she don't let a lie to you. Pretend like she don't want it. Whatever. Anyway, so. <laughs> I bet you if I start touching you the right way, 
<laughs> your body starts to react and you can't stop it from doing that. Are you Idris Elba? What? <laughs> <laughs> or are you Idris Elba? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saving myself for Idris right now. <laughs> I'm on strike. I don't know if I knew when he told you. <laughs> I'm like, then why are you so moist? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, next topic. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh well, th- this is this is very interesting because this is going to be from a like a women's point of view. I mean, I'll read it obviously, but um, this is going to be from. Do you want me to read it? Do yeah. you want Do you want to read it? Ooh. Oh god. Exactly. So I'm going to read I'll it. I'll read it. Are you sure? I'll read it. All right, go ahead. Hooked on phonics. So the next topic. <laughs> yeah, I'm a really bad reader, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so let me read it. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, fellas, listen. I'm going to tell you what it's about. Is it selfish for a woman to declare that she's done with blowjobs? Hmm. A woman has taken a very public stand online against performing oral sex on the penis. Who wrote that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where else do you perform it? <laughs> Deeming the organ admirably practical and sleek in design, but not, but just not for her. This bold declaration comes on the heels of years of being denied oral sex by men who are perfectly content to get theirs while refusing to give in return. Mm. Yeah, word up. Sorry. <laughs> word, word up. <laughs> mm. Well, that's it? <laughs> well, that's the only part. That's part I don't. Oh, oh Martin, you can read the rest. I'm sorry. Uh, no, 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 that's fine. So, um, so the girl goes on to say. So, yeah, so the article goes on to say, and by, by the way, this is from Jezebel.com. So, um, Jezebel.com? Yeah, Jezebel.com. So the, so the female, so this is the female part right here or, um, in question. This is, what she, this is what she writes. I currently have a man in my life who I'm not exactly dating, but who comes over about once a week to eat me out. The only thing I give hey him now. the only thing I give him in return is a pat on the back for doing a good job. Some might think that this arrangement is strange, but I prefer but I prefer to think of it as a pretty damn close pretty damn close to perfect. It was on our second date that I first gave him the opportunity to suck on my clitoris. After thanking him for giving me a ride home, I simply said, "You want to come up to my place and eat me out?" He gave me an enthusiastic yes, and we got to it. I sat on his face until I came and then sent him home. This has been our arrangement for a little over two months now. Since starting things with him, I have resolved to never suck a dick again. I have I have also resolved to refuse getting romantically involved with any man who doesn't want to eat me out, even if he has passwords to both Hulu Plus and HBO Go. I will still That's not a commodity. <laughs> I will still find the strength in me to call it quits if he can't put his mouth down there. <laughs> Am I being selfish? Probably, but I don't care. In fact, I firmly believe this perceived selfishness is owed to me. Owed? That's what she said. Keep going. Keep this on. selfishness comes from many years of having girl. sexual encounters with men who rarely ate me out. If they did, all but two or three of them never bothered to do it long enough for, for me to actually come. Preach. And this and the article continues because she stopped speaking. A lot of people think going down on a woman and going down on a man is the same thing in a sexual bag of tricks. But it's categorically not. As Stevenson notes, she is among the 50 to 75 percent of women who can't orgasm from penetration alone. Going down on a, going down on a woman is not the same as giving a man a blowjob. It's simple logic. Here, let me lay it out for you. If a man does not eat a, if a man doesn't eat a woman out, but they have sex, man gets off. A woman very well may not. If a woman if a man d- doesn't eat a woman out, but they have sex and she also blows him. Man orgasms extra good, woman still may not. If a woman eat if a man eats a woman out and they have sex, but she refuses to go down on him, man still orgasms, woman likely orgasms too. If baseline getting off is the only criteria here, then as you can see, the situation Allison Stevenson has devised is less selfish than it is equal. This woman is a hero and hell, maybe even a mathematical genius. And I say that as a woman who likes blowjobs mighty fine. So, hmm. I really do you read th- that. I feel bad that you read the ladies' part. Well, That's fine. But it's all you good. Get, you want to ask me a question? Um, I, I believe you already want to give me an answer. I don't <laughs> I don't well, I'm going to sit in the corner here because I'm on team, <laughs> team Jezebel. <laughs> so, all right, let me ask you the first question. Is it selfish for a woman to declare that she's done with blowjobs? No. Oh, sorry. You we weren't talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> is it selfish yeah is it selfish she can do whatever she want i don't know if it's exactly selfish i mean well she's herself said that she's selfish 
All right, then give it to her. <laughs> then give it to her. Because, well, I mean, because now the, re- the, re- the reason the why is because, you know, she hasn't been, um, she hasn't been satisfied. She, the people, uh, people, men haven't been eating her out. So she's like, you know what? F it. I'm going to screw over any future guy because all, the, all the past guys screwed me no. over. No. Hold on, Jen. Um. Oh, he's about to drop some science. <laughs> he's like, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> She can do that, but only a cornball is gonna pull like come over your house once a week to eat you out. He's not gonna get anything in return, right? So yeah, because that's he, a certain type of man. Because he's totally fine with that. Yeah, um, that's a certain type of man. Yeah, and she's never gonna take that man serious, even though she might have a you know a little bit of fun yeah. and stuff. Yeah, she feels her self esteem rise because she feels she's taking advantage of this dude. Yeah, but she's never gonna really want. That type of dude. She's still gonna want the type of guy that says "suck my cock." Right, the more dominant what? guy. Yeah. So. She... Oh, you you disagree? Yeah, of course I disagree. Oh man, yeah, I disagree completely. Um, I think that basically that it is complete like <clears throat> rude. That's rude. How do you sit there what are you and say the? First of all, she's good. Why would a man? Why would you want a man who's gonna come over and say "suck my cock"? No, I'm so, just saying that being real, but at the same time, you know. I, I mean, yeah. I mean, you do want that alpha male that's, personality. That's what, yeah, exactly. You do want and I was male. talking to Martini. Oh, pfft. <laughs> I was, talk, like, I was I talking was, to you. I was doing man talk. You just overheard it and you got confused. <laughs> <laughs> she got confused. I understand that no, being, a, I, being a woman. I think, listen, I don't think, a, I honestly, I agree with you that a woman is never going to take a dude seriously who comes over and just eats trap. Like, Clado. if you're coming over to eat meow and then you're like, leaving and you're going home. I'm not yeah. trying to marry you. Yeah, but, but, if, but that's the arrangement but that that's what she, she wants. Wanted. That's the arrangement not, that yeah, she wanted. Yeah, but for how long? How long are you going to do that for before you get bored? That's all you get? That's it? No cuddle? Wait, wait, who? The guy or the no girl? No Netflix and chill? Like what? The guy, the, who, who, in reference to who? The guy the or the girl? And the, the guy and the girl. Team Jezebel's crumbling. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, she's not exclusive to that eat out guy, you know, so oh, she can man. get. She but that's what it seems like in an article. That that she's exclusive to that dude. Oh well, yeah, like, you're right. Well, you're that's, right. well, that's the kind of frame of reference it's placed in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's only gonna add. You're right. She's, more she, dudes she, like that to her stable. Yeah, she's she's been. She, yeah, it says right here. This has been our arrangement for a little over two months now. Well, arrangement. Yeah, but she right. could she could be sleeping with other guys. Yeah, but, but it, won't, it won't be that type of guy though. No, no. She she be she be sleeping with a real. I feel like they may be leaving dude. something out. Like maybe they play like. I mean, well, the the, the article is much longer than this, but oh, but right. I, I I took just of it. To mm-hmm. play so maybe the, they like play Monopoly and then he eats her out and then he goes home. That'd be ideal. That's a long game. You spend quality time. <laughs> That's a long game. Yeah, but then you know what? <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> you know, it is, listen, it is stupid because. Look, if she doesn't want to get blowjobs anymore, that's fine. I get it. She's not going to be a very successful woman in life without anyway. giving blowjobs. But let me seriously. I digress. He digresses. Um, <laughs> you can't, you can't, t- you can't digress him. He has to, <laughs> he has to digress himself. <laughs> you can't digress. Ladies, help me! I'm being overpowered. <laughs> no, like, look, if a woman doesn't want to give blowjobs for whatever reason, yeah. I I can understand that, and that is her own right. But I do believe that you will not have a successful relationship only getting head from a man. And that's it. And maybe she doesn't want a successful relationship, but oh, she doesn't. You can t- <laughs> you can listen to her. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, does she have the right to do it? Sure. Of course. Is it a good idea? Probably not. Mm-mm. If it's something that I've I've met guys who don't like blowjobs, they're my friends. They're awesome. Really? <laughs> Yo, the look on both of their faces right that, now. Yo, that doesn't like, even make any sense. I know. That's like that's like from Bizarro World. Yeah, yo, like I don't know, Twilight Zone. <laughs> hmm. What's that like? <laughs> that was that like. <laughs> Let me put myself okay. in those shoes. No, I mean I understand what you're saying. Like, yes, she has the absolute right to be like selfish, whatever. But I don't know. I just I don't know. I, one, I don't like that equation at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Like... It, it makes sense. It absolutely makes sense. <laughs> but still, it's just like, come on, man. Like, why are you? Why are you like why ra- rationing out? No, it does make sense. Oh, it, actually, okay. it makes sense. I don't like that it makes sense. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like a woman using logic. Like, hmm. <laughs> no, it, it make no, it makes sense. But it's just like, yo, why are you? 
why are you withholding things? You know what I'm saying? It so should be. Maybe, it should be free. Just yo. Maybe you don't give a blowjob until the guy comes. Maybe you just do it for a little bit to get the party started. Mm-hmm. But she doesn't at all. She's like f that. Well, I'm not suggesting people do what she does. I mean, all oh, right. Yeah, but there's something left out. Like what? I give him a, I give him a blowjob. Yeah. See, this part of the. You know, there's always women always leaving stuff out. They, they, they're, they're, they're very tricky. <laughs> no, well, no, but what, what do you mean? What, what, no, do, you, what right, do you think is being left well, out? You know what's missing? I give man blowjob. Yeah. And he eats me out. And, I come. And we both. Then, then he bends me over and he comes. And then we're both satisfied. <laughs> we're both satisfied. Mm. But, but no, but the, but the bottom, um, the last one is mm. the thing, is what she's doing. Because it, it, that's the most right. satisfying. But where does it say Which that was, she gives him head, he gives her head, and they have sex? So then they both Equal. possibly come twice. Yeah. Actually, no. According to this equation, she'll still only come once. No, she can rub herself while he's penetrating. Oh God. You seen the you seen the movies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch those movies that you guys mm-hmm. watch. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is all kind of X-rated now. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Listen, if you don't want to give head, don't give head. Everyone has their own reasons. Everyone has their own rules. I have a boyfriend rule. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> that means you only give head to your boyfriend. Yeah, you have to be my boyfriend. Oh, okay, that's cool. Like you can't be some like random dude, mm-hmm. and I don't like it. No, no, no we're not getting into this. Mm-hmm. My preferences don't matter because <laughs> you don't do that. This isn't a, anyway. <laughs> it's not on my list. Really. Next, <laughs> that's why me and Team Jezebel over here. But I mean, mm-hmm. I think if you're a committed relationship and it's something that he wants, you should talk about it. Talk I don't know. Just do it, Nike. <laughs> Nike. No, but go, going off with what you know you said and then like retracted <laughs> that like you know like <laughs> that you like you don't like you don't like it and stuff like that and and obviously she doesn't want to do it she has she has a reason i was reading another article and oh my god this is this is what sent me over the edge and it, it's about okay it's from vice.com and it was about people uh vice.com interviewed people who immediately had like sex like they had sex and like five minutes after they had sex they were interviewed ew All right. wait this is like a contest or something no no it wasn't it wasn't a contest i i, I really i i forget what the actual basis of it was but for, added, added in the paper but but it was just like you know they they had sex whatever in a room and then like five minutes later boom you know oh because i guess they just wanted to see like what their uh not reactions but like what what po- was the post-production the, the, the process Okay. Well, the process that did you know, oh, what did you guys do first and blah 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 and all that stuff. Oh, that's interesting. You know, no, it was, it was a very interesting article, and I suggest people to read it. If you go to our website, www.bedlovebeyond.com, so <laughs> you'll see the article and you'll be able to read it. But uh, and there was a guy, a guy and a girl, Andy and that's Alana. Oh my god! And going off with the blowjob thing, it was extremely funny. Uh-huh. Loud. Yeah, you loud. It was extremely funny where it was like. And and I ha- and I had to write it down step by step just to he- just to see <laughs> what she was saying because I breakdown. really couldn't I really couldn't believe it. I'm sorry. So here's so here's the breakdown. Okay. I, I read, so I, I read in advance. Um, <laughs> number one, Alana has sex with Andy. All right. And mm-hmm. two, Alana has sex on her period. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ew. Number three, Alana has sex on her period unprotected. Mm. Number four, Alana has sex on her period unprotected and allows Andy to come inside her. Are they married? Woof. No. Ew. Number five, <laughs> but Alana does not give him head because, and I quote, I need to know a guy well before we go there and we haven't known each other very long. What? <laughs> like, I don't I'm understand a- that you would allow this person that you don't know for very long to do all these things, period, uh, unprotected, uh, come inside, uh, but uh, giving head? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, that, uh, that, I'm going to let that's y'all hash far. this out because uh, I'm against the whole thing. That whole thing is gross. <laughs> <laughs> that, that lineup, I don't want anything on that menu. No, but, <laughs> I don't want anything on that. no but, I'm, but I'm like, is that, like, ladies, please, if you're write in, call in, do something, whatever. What is your deal with the head? Like, why are you, like, allowing all these things to go on? I mean, and again, you can, go ahead. You want to have fucking period sex? Go ahead. I heard it's awesome. Period sex? But, but, like. There's a name for that, right? It seems That is the so. name for it. Period sex. <laughs> you know, like, and you have it. I feel like you just made that up. 
No, I didn't. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I, but I hear that. It, but I hear that it's very good for the woman, like during that time, because that's like, like when they're like super horny and okay. stuff like that. But anyway, mm-hmm. but like you're doing all this stuff, mm-hmm. but like you're like, nah, I, I can't give you head though. But I'm like, yo, we like we've literally done everything else, <laughs> and but you still don't want to give me head. Like, what is the deal, ladies? Write in, call in, something. Mm-hmm. What, what, what is up with that? Why do girls not like giving head? What is so wrong? With head. Is it clean? Yeah, the head's clean. Yeah, it's clean. I mean, what the fuck? We don't all think it's clean. Well, he can always wash up. (laughs) I've done that. It's like, it's, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know. But, but. You have, you know, you have to wash up. You don't want her not to like it. Oh, no, 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 but I'm just saying, no, (laughs) but I'm just saying, but like. I want you to like it. (laughs) But, but another thing, another thing that I don't understand is that like, yeah, they don't want to give us head, but they'll be the first ones to be like, yo, you got to eat me out. And I'm like, yo, nah, it's I don't the get same. that. I don't, I don't get that a lot. It's the same thing. You don't really. You don't nah. get girls um asking you to eat you out. I'm eat you out. Eat them out. <laughs> <laughs> not like that. <laughs> Kanye. <laughs> not, not like that. Yeah. But you know, I, I don't mind it. I like it. Okay. I don't think. I don't know. Maybe. Like maybe it. older girls don't demand it because they either think it's gonna happen or not. I don't know anybody who would demand it. I mean. Mm-hmm. Especially- I know a woman that was demanding about that, but you know, obviously, I don't really. We don't talk anymore. Yeah, we don't talk anymore. <laughs> right. Because she's like stupid about it. Uh-huh. You know. Was she like the other girl who was like, I'm going to take but not give? No, she just, sex had to be done like her way. And I'm like, that's corny. Like, I already know the script already. Uh, oh, like, I read no the script. Sex? I know my lines. <laughs> and that, that don't, that's not romantic. Right, right. And it's not spontaneous. Like, right, oh, I know exactly what I have to do. Yeah. And I have to do this and I have to do that. Yeah. But her shit, you know, you have to eat her out, like talk dirty to her yeah. while you're <laughs> eating her out, and you got to like, twist your nipples, and if you're not doing it right, you know, she gets <laughs> upset, you know, I'm like, this is... It's like playing bop it. This is stupid. <laughs> playing bop it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you gotta That's do mad, like, good. different things. It's like, jug- it's like juggling, you know? <laughs> so stupid. Like, this is wow. and she, and she was a She was an older woman? She was older than... Yeah, she was older than me, but no. Okay. We're both in our, no, th- I guess both maybe, in our thirties. So I, I guess they, I guess she likes it how she likes it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that, she wants it how she wants. Yeah, it. Yeah, but that's why you're single <laughs> since forever. Zing! <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't know. I don't know that Alana should have shared that all that information with Vice, but whatever, she did. So uh, I don't know. That, I just, I just, I just saw that and I was just like, wow. But, unprotected and unprotected and came, came inside her just as and she's like, well, I don't know him really. Do you but know you know, eight, and, 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 and the thing is I, I all splashing up inside you <laughs> no, And the thing is I, I, I didn't want to like I, And I'm, again I'm not like Desecrating Alana Or whatever Like you could do Whatever you want But I, I, I seriously Read that article Like four or five times Just to make sure <laughs> You were reading it right I was reading it right And I was like Yo This chick did all this stuff And still didn't want To give the dude head Because we didn't know Each other for very long Word But we're gonna have a baby though mm. <laughs> You know Well not I'm sure she took the pill But still It's like Yeah okay Come on <laughs> That's That's So she said That's that's insane No I don't know I mean listen When it comes to sex Everyone has their own Rhyme and reason yes. Their own rules Their own playbook oh, You know Women definitely have a playbook Yeah I mean And it's not something It's something that you write Along the way you're like I like this I don't like this I want this I definitely don't want that You know I don't know But the thing is Is that it's different For you guys Cause you guys Just I'm not saying That you don't ever Get emotionally They got mad quiet <laughs> <They're> <laughs> Cause, like, cause, cause we're Cause we're ready, we're ready To judge that, <laughs> that, That's where, why Where are you going With this <laughs> It's not that you guys Don't get emotionally involved But oh. Who just sucked their teeth <laughs> But <laughs> I don't think you get as emotionally involved all of the time as women do. Because women can go on a date with you and say that she doesn't know you or she doesn't care. But as soon as she like starts to feel some sort of attachment, which she will once she has sex, and especially if you make her come, then it becomes something different. Mm-hmm. And confusing, and then okay. you guys are like, "Okay, call you later." And sometimes you do, and sometimes you don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, call you later. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and that's not nice, guys. <laughs> skip it, go skip F- down the street. FYI, <laughs> <laughs> that's not nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I get it because you know, yeah, guys can have sex without being emotional. 
Right. Without You're just like, oh, yeah. that's good. Back to what I was doing. <laughs> just get that, you know, let's download the Contra game <laughs> <laughs> from the 90s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Throwback. But yeah, I mean, when you do it, when you don't do it, if you give head, if you don't give head. Sounds like a hook. <laughs> <laughs> like a rap hook. I mean, it is what it is. So you figure out what it is and what you want to do, and then that's what it is. Yeah. So I don't know. I think we learned a little bit. Well, we didn't really pinpoint anything, but we opened up the discussion of sex. Yeah, definitely. I, you know, that could be that could be the question of the uh, episode. Yeah. Why don't you guys like giving head? <laughs> or do you or do you love giving head? Like, That's what Martini's in. focused on today. Yeah, please call in. Let us call know. in. Um, write in bedlovebeyond at gmail dot com. Do you have an opinion about anything? Call. Yes, I uh, definitely. I would love to hear uh, what you guys you have to say. Emails. We like to read emails. www.facebook.com forward slash bedlovebeyond is the like page. You can leave us a comment, a message. You can also leave messages on the website because it's WordPress. Um, I don't know if you can leave messages on Podbeam, but no, I don't know. I'm who cares? Sure. Listen on Podbeam if you have Android, and if you have an iPhone, um, we have iTunes now. We're just everywhere. If you have one of those social media things and you think we're on it, Google us, and I bet you we are. <laughs> can I say the name of my website again? Sure. Absolutely. Oh, actually, yeah. thank you, Noble, for coming and joining us today. <laughs> I mean, we we do have two more things, but no, go go right ahead. www dot <laughs> seduction <laughs> is art dot com. You can buy my book from Amazon. Okay. You can buy it directly from my website. You can get it and purchase it at Barnes and Nobles. dot com and or Barnes and Nobles the yeah, store. dot com. Okay. They might have a couple copies in, in the store, but, you know, who knows what they're doing now. Probably in New York. Definitely. And you can always reach out to me. I do phone consultations at the right price for you. <laughs> Everything's negotiable. <laughs> I do have packages when you see me in person. Gold. Premium. So all this information is on the website. Yeah, Supreme packages. Uh -oh. All negotiable for you. Maybe we can find. Maybe if you can have one of your um, previous clients, maybe they would like to come on the show. That'd be kind of interesting. Hmm. If you know of anyone. Oh want, yeah, I know people. But we want to like bring up to the Rolodex. Yeah, I guess in the future. Yeah, they, I can put, yeah, that, I can put that together. A lot of them are married already. Oh, we'll with see. kids. Hey now. Because that's how I do it. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. I had a client. He didn't get laid for two years. I trained him for a month. Got laid twice in thirty days. <laughs> 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 I don't know if that's good, but it's better than the two years. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's. He got laid that's, twice in that's three awesome. days. Like two different people. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, that makes more sense. She though. wasn't like <laughs> she wasn't like Elena, evidently. Well, she's like, oh. <laughs> 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 did it, did it, did it. See, that's a, that's real See, comedian work. You damn, brought like, the joke all the way back around. <laughs> good, good shit. Good shit. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. So www dot com. Please hit me up. Yep, your Send number's on there, email. your emails are on there. Right? Mm -hmm. That's that's where they can get the book too, right? Oh. Yeah, they can buy the book directly from the website. You can okay. get a PDF or a hard copy that's autographed. Nice. No cool. extra. I actually have the PDF. Sweet. Not sharing it, but I do have Sweet. it. <laughs> um, what do you have next, Martini? All right, well, we just have... Uh... One, well, we have, we definitely have Meme of the Day. Do you want to do that first? or we? No, go ahead. You do your thing. All, All right. right. Oh, okay. Well, we have... Because we were talking about like social media and emails and stuff like that, we have our first email. Look at that, our first guest and our first email on the same show. Look at that. <laughs> it's kind of long, so I'll kind of I haven't even read it, <laughs> but like. You sure you want to do it today? Huh? You want to do it today? Jesus, it's so long. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, let's do it another day. Cause okay. I, I I do I do want to uh bring this down. So I'm sorry, person, but you will be on the next show. All right, yeah, first so thing. Thank you for, <laughs> they definitely thank you for writing in. I'm glad people are starting to write in. Yes. So we have one person to write in, and maybe we can address that in the beginning of uh, next week's show. Yes. And um, we'll see what's going on. We'll dissect it, and then we'll have a more professional answer. Well, you know, opinionated professional answer. Absolutely. For mm -hmm. him. I mean, I, I will read the, the the title. Okay. So, so you know. Oh, so we know so, what so, we're so looking you, forward so to. So you whet, whet your appetite. Oh, all right. Oh. Will she be able to accept my past as a snitch? Oof. La cosa nostra. Sure. <laughs> this thing of ours. He's, okay. a, he's a rat? 
These are rats. <laughs> no one's tuning in next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, right. Oh, Jeez. Man. All yeah. right. Well, we do have our meme of the day. Yes. Um, so meme of the day, obviously. I mean, if you're just joining us, uh, meme of the day is where Jennifer finds a meme and a pertaining to the subject matter at hand of the episode and then she reads it to us and then uh we talk about it okay so it's like a little cartoon character on the left side it says sex expectation title of the show title um and it's a man and a woman in bed snuggling and it says that was so wrong but it felt so right and that's the sex expectation and on the other side is reality same picture and it says i want to kill myself and the guy says me too <laughs> it's deep so, yeah, it's like sometimes when you're like, when you do jump the gun and you have the sex before you think you're actually ready, you're like, that was great, but bad. Yeah. And then you're like, I just want to die. Little, what, do you, what do you actually mean by that? I, like, it the, could be the good. cartoon is a little, still a little confusing for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what do you, what no, do okay, from my, my perception of it is that How can it be good like, be bad? sex can feel really good. Okay. You're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're in the moment. You're like, uh-huh. you know, hot and heavy, boom. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, once obviously and then your catholic guilt kicks in (laughs) well you know you know okay obviously you know we're all grown everybody has experienced an orgasm so you know you freak you know the things die down and then like reality sets and your your you know clarity sets in oh you mean like and you're like yo like after you masturbate it's like (laughs) (laughs) like when you're like in a different world and when you finish coming it's like oh what the fuck i have to go to work (laughs) 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 yeah but with another person (laughs) and you're like yo I shouldn't have done that, you yeah. know, and obviously you can't take it back. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's, already- oh, it's yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. like in the moment, everything's going good, and then it's like you climb up the plateau, and then once you hit the bottom of the fucking mountain, you're like, everything's crazy. Yeah. Oh, when you or you, or if she's not that cute, you look at her again, like, yo, did I just do that? <laughs> I, I, I now I understand. Now it's in perspective. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, <laughs> tune in next week. <laughs> Thank you, Noble, for being on our show. We appreciate it. Um, Thank you so much. Maybe for you've made me. some new friends. Maybe some new enemies. Yeah. Oh, my, all my fans are gonna love this. All my haters are gonna hate it. <laughs> <laughs> well, all love is good love, or all press is good press. What I don't know saying? something like that. I just tell them go love yourself, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, anything else, Martini? What else we got going? No, that is it. That, that is it for the show. i like to thank everyone here. Uh, Noble, thank you very much for stopping by and being our very first guest. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's awesome. And I had a great time. This, <laughs> this is way more enjoyable than I thought it would be. No, I'm telling you, And man. I knew it was going to be awesome, but this is really <laughs> Yo, impressive. I mean, hey, if you want to <laughs> come back again, you know, we'll, we would love to have you. All right. You know? So, one more time. Give us the name of the book. How to be ridiculously successful with women for the rest of your life. All right. So you hear that? By Noble Casalupus. Yes. You hear that? And and I don't know if you caught it, but he said that, you know, some of his clients got married. So, you know, this guy knows what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. So, please. So are are you on uh, social media or anything like that? Like, do you have like a Twitter, Instagram or like a YouTube thing or anything? Yeah. Uh, You can look up me on YouTube as Noble Casalupus. Got a couple of old relevant um, films. What do you call them? Videos. Yeah, videos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, what <do> <laughs> films. <laughs> I make films on YouTube. <laughs> videos on YouTube that still relevant and still work because the, the art is timeless, of course. Mm-hmm. And you'll see some of my old stuff there. And you can find me on Facebook at you know Noble Casa Lupus. Okay. You know, it's, it's very very exclusive. Exclusive membership. <laughs> so if you hit me up and try to be my friend, I'm really going to interrogate, like, who are you? Right. Why sh- Why should you be my friend? Yes. So there's no, no jerky business on my site. <laughs> so please go to his um, website and, you know, you'll get all that information. But thank you so much, Noble. Of course, thank you, Jen. You're awesome. Jen, I try. Pretty awesome. <laughs> pretty awesome. All right. So that ends another episode. We will see you guys next time. Peace.